cocoa core, or what we refer to in a short abbreviation as core, is essentially the outside husk of a coconut. The husk is extracted so that it can be used either, it could be extracted in fibers to be used as a fibrous core material, or it can actually be removed and chopped up in chunks to be used as what we call chunk core. So the purposes of these core products, uh, starting with the core fiber, core fiber is very similar to peat moss in a lot of ways. It has high water holding capacity and it also has pretty decent aeration, not quite as high as, as peat moss. So it's used basically as a base for growing meat in some cases or as a component. Chunk core, on the other hand, is essentially little nuggets that hold onto a lot of water. So it's basically used to add extra water to the growing media, but also because of the way they pack in the growing media, they also add a lot of aeration. Because chunk core is, is more of an aggregate, it's not really used as a base of the mix or a major component. It's used more or less as a, as a minor component to help with water retention and also aeration. As far as physical properties, for the core fiber itself, as I mentioned before, it has properties that are very similar to peat moss. So it tends to retain a lot of water, similar to peat moss, but also still has decent aeration, not quite as high as peat moss. So when using this in a growing media, it'll help keep your watering frequency down, so you don't have to water it quite as frequently. In the case of chunk core, chunk core holds even more water, because again, within the, the core structure itself, there's water retention. It also introduces a boatload of, of aeration to help with excellent root growth. So basically with a chunk core media, you might get uh, a little bit faster development of the plant roots because of the actual aeration. So with both types of core, they can be used for different applications. So for instance, with a core fiber, they can be used for pretty much any growing media from, uh, from any kind of application from cell packs to pots to hanging baskets, where chunk core is meant more for uh, larger containers. So you start with looking at maybe a, a larger pot, like a six inch pot and larger for hanging baskets for large planters, anywhere where extra water retention is desirable. Now with both of them, they're both very lightweight. They're hydrophilic, meaning that they both absorb water and do not require any kind of a wetting agent. You might get a little bit of compaction in the container over time. Again, that has to do more with the water pressure, but they generally don't decompose very rapidly. Chemical properties, of course, are pretty similar between both products. It does come naturally with a high level of salts coming from potassium, chloride, and sodium. However, most companies, including Premier, when we receive the product, it's already been washed to reduce some of those salt levels, or in some cases, it may have been soaked. Again, the idea to, soak, to remove some of those salts. If not, if you get a coarse product in that hasn't been washed, you can possibly get some salt damage to your crops and you can end up with some root damage. The pH of core is, is slightly acidic. It's in the 5.5 to 6.5 range. So there's not as much need for limestone, but again, limestone when incorporated into a growing media is a good thing, because again, it helps prevent the pH from dropping. It has low to moderate cation exchange capacity, just like with some of the other components we talked about, like the, the peat moss and the bark in our other videos, you'll see that it's really not enough to really affect what your fertilizer rates are. Again, it has the ability to retain nutrients, but it's really not very high, so continue to fertilize how you normally would. And it is free of chemicals and herbicides, uh, it's a, and it doesn't really contain any toxins that would, that would cause any problems. Again, if it's washed and soaked, it, the salt levels are reduced to a level that's not a problem. As far as the biological properties of core, core does come with some uh, natural microorganisms, but it's not a real high population similar to peat moss. There are some in there that will help with root disease suppression, not too many, but in general it's nice to know that they're in there because they can get in the way of pathogens from taking over the growing media. But keep in mind too that core doesn't really come with any plant pathogens. It also serves as a good environment, so if we're introducing active ingredients into our mixes, it fosters a good environment for their development.